This video is going to be about uh, setting up our basement foundation plan drawing. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff going on with the foundation as far as differing levels go uh, of things that we want to include in it. So I feel that it needs <clears throat> it needs special attention, uh, which is why I'm putting together this video for it. Okay, so to start with. We're going to go to um, your basement floor floor plan, and I want you to right-click it and duplicate view, and just choose the first one, duplicate. Okay, because we do not we don't want to copy any of these other things in. With detailing, it would copy in any text <clears throat> annotations and things that you've done uh, in the first one, and we don't want that. Uh, duplicating as dependent means that anything you change in the basement plan is going to change in your new one. Anything you change in your new one could affect your original basement plan. We don't want to do that. So you're going to just go uh, straight up duplicate. And I named it basement floor print to keep it separate. All right, so now we're going to make some changes to this thing. So let's start over here uh, in our properties. Um, it should be set at a quarter inch scale. Uh, detail level medium is fine. Okay, that'll show us enough of what we want. And uh, I, I do not remember. Let me go back to my basement floor and look. Okay, yeah, because originally I had set up all the floor plans to go along with a view template that had the settings the way that that we would normally want that. And, and that would be fairly common practice uh, in an office <clears throat> is you have view templates already set up for the way that you want things to look. So with our new one here, we're gonna take it out of the view template. So scroll down here to view template and change that back to none because we have to make, we gotta make a lot of changes, all right? Uh, while you're down here, also on title and sheet, let's change that to foundation plan. Okay, because that's what our paper drawing is called. All right, so let's go back and look at, at the rest of these things here. Uh, visibility and graphics. I turned off floors because I don't want to see the concrete, you know, in our, in our plan here because of the hatching. So I turned off floors. Um, and with structural foundations, I did an override right here with my line type. So I just clicked in that and I chose the hidden 3 8 inch dash or the hidden 3 8 inch. Okay. And that will give our foundations a dash line. Okay. Um, under structural framing, I want you to turn off joist and turn off other, because this will keep most of our wood from showing up. And I think that is everything in here. Uh, under, under annotation categories, if your elevation markers are showing up, you can turn off elevations. Um, grids should be turned off. Turn off reference lines and reference planes from where we created the roof. So we don't want those to, <coughs> excuse me, we don't want those to show up. And um, after we've created our plan regions, we're going to turn plan region off. Okay, but we're not going to turn that off yet because we need to see them as we create them. Okay, but we will come back and turn that off. And I, I think that's pretty much it for that. Okay. Um, for our, okay, underlay, there should be no underlay. And on our view range, this is where it gets interesting uh, because we want to show uh, the the cutout in the garage doors, 
We want to show the steel beams. We want to show a little bit of the wood frame wall back here, but not the wood framed walls up front. So it got kind of interesting. So I set my primary range to top of foundation wall zero inches and the cut plane, which would be associated level basement floor at seven foot six. Okay, now that you can play with that a little bit and you can kind of see where where I was going with this, but it, it got it gets interesting trying to include all of these things in here that we need and then we still have to do plan regions because when we change that cut plane up it gets higher than our doors and windows so you will want to come to view well you can do it architecture too. we'll go plan views and we'll go plan region and you want to create a plan region around this door and window and then around this window and with both of those You'll set your cut plane to four feet above uh, the basement floor. Okay, and that will show your windows and your door. Okay, around all of your beams, and uh, one thing I, I figured out with these is you don't have to draw the plan region around the entire beam. So you see, I'm not going into the walls with them. But around. Um, all three of these beams, and this one I've hidden just to try it out and see what's happening with it. Do a plan region around them, and this changes a little bit. Top of foundation wall uh, six inches, and then cut plane at one inch above top of foundation wall. That should pull in all of your steel beams, okay? And then once, once you you got that done and we can't if if we go to course detail level we do get a single line for the beam but i haven't been able to find a way to change the line type of the beam to a center line or a heavy dash line even with the graphics override it still wouldn't work uh, so we're just going to leave it at medium and go with that Okay, so that pretty much covers getting our view set up. Uh, if things are still showing up, like your the sill plates, uh, let me see, did I have to? Oh, 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 yeah, I, I remember. Okay, so if your beams are not showing up when you've made these changes, you'll want to select, you may have to go into a section view to do it, but you'll want to, select all of your beams or you may have to do them one at a time I don't know but you want to change the structural usage to your beam to girder okay so uh, one two three all four of your beams should be set to girder any of your joists that are showing up in here that we created using the the beam system those should be selected <clears throat> excuse me and changed back to structural usage of joist. Okay, so that, remember we turned those off, <clears throat> excuse me, in our uh, visibility and graphics. So we turned those off. Okay, and then once um, those things are set, we can go to here. Let's see how this works with plan region. I haven't tried this one yet, so we'll, Okay, that worked. So that hides the boxes of the plan regions. Okay, um, tags. You're going to do window and door tags. Okay, door tags uh, will not require any changes. The window tags, we're going to change them. Um, <clears throat> so you'll have to place one. And then we'll go edit family and click inside it. And we want to edit the label to change it from type mark to change it to mark. Okay. And uh, and then you'll, you know, load that into your family and save it and stuff like that. I'm going to hit no because I'm not making any changes here. Okay. What we're going to do, our windows, let me show you the window schedule. And you, you don't have to do a window schedule this week 